first day I come in and I see all these machines working and it's, it's pretty scary. Uh, Michael uh, Ashmore was a student, a junior last year from Lawrence Central High School who came to us through the SEED program. He did a tremendous project with us, very bright kid. He did a project I wouldn't put a college kid onto. Our problem was we wanted to create a better method for detecting methylphenidate. So this assay that I, was, I created using ultra-performance leukochromatography and tandem mass spectrometry. He had had some chromatography experience and so it was a good spot to build upon what he had done. It gave him the opportunity, I think, to do a little bit of growing and a lot of learning, a lot of experimenting in multiple ways, um, and finding limitations probably also about himself. Here it is, it's like six months after my summer, and I'm still finding out all the things that I learned and all the skills that, I that were developed, and I'm still internalizing everything because it's so intense that it takes a long time to actually realize what you got out of it. Michael presented a poster at the end of the project, which was the analysis of methylphenidate, the ritalinic acid, and then he presented it again at, the, at a regional meeting at the American Chemical Society. I was surrounded by college students, and I had a college student come up to me who had also was working with mass spectrometry. He's coming up here asking questions, and basically he was telling me that I had done three times more than he had done in college. And here I am in high school, and I'm given this opportunity. And we basically mentored him, but he was doing the work, testing the hypothesis, testing the, uh, the complete methodology, what he was doing. He, from beginning to end, he developed, uh, not on a, not a simple method, but on, on a mass spectrometry method. Before we started, they had the initial test that just detected methylphenidate, but when we finished, this test was put into their work line. Not only did I do this research and I created something, they put it into their production, and I know that AIT is using this. It's just an amazing feeling to think about that. Not only did you create something, but it's actually being used in one of the best toxicology labs in the nation. We're scientists. That's fun for us. We see him developing. That, that to us, is part of our culture. So it's, it's, it's monetarily, it's not expensive at all. The rewards that we get are tenfold. I've just been accepted to the Naval Academy Prep School, and a year from now, I'll be, I'll be a midshipman at the United States Naval Academy. No one else applying to the Naval Academy has a 10-page research paper that you're trying to get published in a scientific journal and they, they look at that. With all my academics and all my sports I've been involved in, it's like, this is a kid that we need. I can study to become a chemist. I can also develop into an officer where I can serve my country, and then I can go out into the civilian field and contribute as a scientist. And I don't think I'd be able to do that without this program.